When I was young, every time it rained, I traveled in the National Geographic. I'd get the maps out and then I'd read the stories and look at the pretty pictures and so forth. And so I was very much interested in the world. And uh, when I went to the University of Tennessee, I majored in international relations. I won a scholarship to the School of Advanced International Studies in Washington from the Arabian American Oil Company. And I studied Arabic, Middle Eastern studies and so forth. And then when I finished that, I wanted to go and live in the Middle East. So I went out in 1950 and traveled overland from Paris all the way to Jerusalem. I spent a year in Ramallah, uh, which is 12 miles north of Jerusalem, teaching in a Quaker school. And I taught there for a year, and then I went back in 55 to 57, uh, married a Palestinian from Nazareth, mm -hmm. and I was hooked. So I've spent 35 years uh, between 1950 and 1996. And you talked to me earlier about um, some advice that you had given to soldiers going into Iraq. You know, I gave four three-hour lectures to each of eight units in East Tennessee before they went. And, mm -hmm. and I think it was very helpful to them. So they invited me to come out as their chief interpreter. Instead, I went as an embedded journalist. Mm -hmm. So I went first to Baghdad and Karbala for three weeks with the Christian Peacemaker team uh, with no protection, no helmets, no nothing. Uh, and I had a video camera. With, because of the language, I could take pictures and move around and speak to people and so forth. But then I went into the green zone and was embedded with the, with the Tennessee National Guard and spent five weeks with them going on patrol day or night about, about every other day. And it was a wonderful experience for me. I was then 78. Many people go and travel and live in other parts of the country, uh, of other parts of the world, but they don't learn the language and live with the people. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think that I was very privileged. Uh, this last trip, I was almost 10 weeks in the Middle East. I stayed in 12 different homes of seven different religious communities. And in all of those homes, I was received as Uncle Graham. As I got on the plane in Cairo flying back, I suddenly realized how greatly privileged I've been. 